When patients take a look at their pathology report, they wonder who generated it. It's a breast pathologist. What's the role of the breast pathologist? A breast pathologist is one of the most important members of a multidisciplinary team treating patients with breast cancer. And over the years, because breast cancer is a galaxy of diseases, plural, many, the breast pathologist really plays a key role. He or she tells us, is it a, is it a ductal cancer? Is it a lobular cancer? Is it an invasive cancer? Is it an in-situ cancer? The markers, estrogen, progesterone, HER2 new, and KI67, those are all performed by the pathologist. The ultimate stage of what the cancer is is determined by the pathologist along working with the technicians who process the tissue, whether that tissue is a core biopsy or a mastectomy specimen, whether it's teeny tiny or very big, the tissue all has to be processed. Can there be differences of opinions among pathologists? And the answer is yes, there can be. And sometimes a second or third opinion uh, on the original core biopsy or other specimens is really important. There is a level of expertise that develops through the years. So wherever you're being treated, one of the important questions to ask is, how experienced is the pathologist? I do care about how experienced the surgeon is, the medical oncologist, the radiation oncologist, and the radiologist reading the mammograms and other imaging studies. But really important is how experienced is the pathologist. That pathologist is a key member of the team. The final decisions are made based on the final pathology. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.